show you a little bit about how to use uh, a linear pattern feature in SolidWorks. So uh, if I start a new part, what you want to do is first for a linear pattern you're going to have to have some sort of <coughs> body that you're going to have a feature with. So uh, we've just got a rectangle. Um, and I'm just going to tab it to be. Let's go to smart dimensions. Tab it to be 100. And then go up to your features tab, extrude boss it. I can do 10 mil. I'll say OK. And then I'm going to put a hole in it and I'm going to linear pattern along. So uh, if you just select that face, sketch on it, just look at it head on. And then we get our circle, drop it down here. Let's give it a dimension of 10 mil. And let's give it a dimension from here to here, 10 mil again. So now what you got to do is if we cut this hole, so go up to your features tab, press cut, that will go through 10 mil, just say OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to linear pattern this hole to make multiple holes along this axis. So uh, you just go up to the linear pattern in your features tab again. <coughs> To click that now. What's this first dialog box asking for? It's saying which direction um, are we going to send this array of holes in? So I'm going to say let's go in this direction. So I click this edge, uh, and if we just go down to here, so we've got spaces, spacing, and instances, and up to reference. Uh, for the moment, we're just going to do spacing and instances, which just means you're defining how many instances there are, so how many times we're going to copy that hole, which you can see here, so eight times. And each one of these holes is going to be 10 mil apart, but actually, because our holes are 10 mil, we actually want it to be, we want a bit of a gap between each hole, so we're going to say 15 mil. Let me say yeah. So we've got all of these variables accounted for, so. <clears throat> If we ignore direction 2 for the moment, and what we want to do first is we want to actually select the feature that we want to do the copying of. So I've got my feature tab selected here, so we just go to the cut and just click on it, and it picks it up and it's, and it's began to do the linear pattern. Eight, eight holes in 15 mil increments. So we don't need that many holes, so we're just going to bring it down to six. And if you say, cool, let's do it, you say, yeah, and there you have it, your linear pattern. So there's a little bit more detail that we can go into, which we're going to look at right now. With this, we selected a feature, which was the cut extrude. So you can do that in two ways. You can either actually manually select the face, which the feature is. Uh, which is that cut, or you can actually say I want to select a face and that's what I want to do, that's what I want to copy. So we just do that again. So it's two ways of doing the same thing. Um, in this case the same thing. So 
we've got a direction two now just to speak about the direction two really quickly you can linear rate a, a feature in two directions at the same time so in this case I wanted to do it vertically so I can just select this edge and it's automatically only just put one instance that's why you can't see anything copying so if you change it to three you can see it's copying now so we've got three instances one two three uh, it's going in the wrong direction we want it to go down so that's really simple you just come to the left hand side here select reverse direction and there you go same problem again we've got 10 mil spacing in between each hole and the hole is 10 mil so we're going to have this sort of little butting up against each other so we're going to change that to 15 again there you have it you can do a row of six three down by selecting both directions uh, now if you just wanted to make just this hole go down three and then none of none of these holes to copy you can say pattern seed only so it's it's only copying the seed which was the original cut feature rather than copying all of the new arrays down as well so we can say yep yeah. so you get there <coughs> now the last thing about linear pattern is the up to reference um, which I'll show you now so up to reference is really good because it allows you to take a hole and uh, put an array, <coughs> a hole or any feature, but in this case the hole, and copy an array of holes up to a place, and it will automatically distribute all of those holes evenly amongst the two spots that you said start from here. In this case, we're going to say end here. So if we just take away direction two, because that's not really useful right now, uh, so I'll just take it away cool and with direction one we're saying up to reference so with the up to reference you can either select an edge or a face or a point or a vertices which you can see here you see that's the edge you see that's the face you see that's the vertices so we're just going to do a face so we're just going to go up to here um, and currently the circles are coming up, the center of the circle is coming up right to that face. But we actually know we want it to be 10 mil off because we want it to be uniform. So we know there's a 10 mil gap between here and here. So we want to do the same on this side. So we've said up to reference, which is this face. And now this, we're saying we want it to be 10 mil away from that reference. So now it's come back in. Uh, you'll notice that the spacing isn't the same this side and this side as it should be that just because we haven't got enough uh, instances uh, so if we just go up to instances six seven, yeah and we say there you have it you have seven equally spaced holes with the ending holes 10 mil away from the side of the rectangle so that's linear pattern it's really simple um, any problems you can just put a comment in the link section below and we'll get back to you with, uh, with any answers